Uh, this is Nathan, and this is part one of the how to make an FPS tutorial. And uh, it's a very long tutorial. There's a lot of things to cover, so uh, so there's going to be a lot of parts. So first off, uh, I will write detailed instructions on how to set the uh, mouse look script up. And um, now we can get started. So first, I'm going to name this uh, as the player box. Whoops. You can get to that menu by pressing N. There we go. Alright. And now we are going to uh, just bring it up a little bit to where it's on the green line just for... Well, you'll see while we're doing this later. Alright, now we're going to delete this camera because we really don't need it and it's just a pain in the butt right now. And uh, we are going to add another camera, and right now we just did that so it's centered in the middle. So we're going to set this, just set it to the height that you want your character to be. And uh, now we're going to extend the, the player box up just a little bit past the camera's top right there. Alright, now we're going to move the camera back a little bit. Alright, so now we are going to make the player box parent of the camera. Alright, now we're going to add an, a camera, for camera we're going to add a sensor called m a mouse sensor and we're going to put it to movement. We're going to name it Mouse. Make sure that dot 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 is checked. Now we're going to add a Python controller. And this is going to control the mouse look script. Now we uh, need to connect these together. All right, so now we're going to check those the SEL which stands for select. And uh, we're going to go add a motion actuator and call it look up down we don't need to set any values the script will do that now we uh, hold shift and pr and uh, select the player box add another actuator for player box and call it look left right and then con uh, connect it to the mouse looked controller that we already put out So now we are going to just add a plane as the base, and uh, I'm just going to scale it up a little bit, make it a uh, pretty decent size, and I am just going to change the color a bit so you guys can see it better, so everything's not the same color. Alright, so... Alright, so just uh, select your player box and um, shoot. <laughs> I haven't done blender in a few I haven't done UV texturing in a few in a few weeks or so, so ah uh, there we go. Alright. Couldn't find it. <laughs> so now we need to make it to where it's face select and uh, we are going to make each face invisible. So to so that you can see through the box and it doesn't even look like it's there but it is needed and you'll see why later on so we're gonna set each side to invisible like there All 
Okay. Whoops. Bottom. See, now everything is invisible when we go into textured mode. And that's more than likely what you're going to be playing your game in as, so... Alright, so let's test it out real quick. And I'm just moving the mouse around, and the mouse looks script works perfectly. So that is going to be the base for our um, for our mouse look. So I'm just going to save it here. And you, uh, you, you're going to want to save often. You're going to notice that I'm saving very often because things can go wrong sometimes. You just want to make sure that everything's working, so you don't want to lose any work. So now we can work on the movement script. And if you saw my uh, last tutorial, uh, oh, okay. Whoops. We need to make the camera a uh, ghost so that it, the it doesn't fly away when you start the game engine and then we're going to make the player box a convex hole polytope which is just better for collisions now we can start working on our uh, movement script so uh, we're gonna do we're gonna set all these to WASD and name them like I'm doing here and if you saw my last tutorial this is just like it except for we are going to incorporate jump into it into the actual script itself and jump Okay, so now we're gonna add a pro. Oops, no, nope, never mind. <laughs> All right, we're going to add a collision sensor. This is going to tell us if we are touching the ground because we don't want to just fly up in the air when we're uh, when we're jumping. So it actually it's more. It's not just. Well, yeah, I'm sure you've already experienced that before. I had I learned the hard way as well. So now we just had to set the uh, ground, just add it as a property of ground, so that we it works with the collision sensor we added to our player box. So now we're going to add a Python controller and connect all these sensors we just added to it. Okay, I'm just going to save there. We're going to add a movement actuator, which is going to control the actual movement of the player. And uh, again, we are going to call it movement, like in the last tutorial, and we don't need to set any values here either. So we're going to add a, go into text editor, add a new script, and call it mouse or movement. And we're going to go back to our Python script and call it movement. And then it really doesn't matter there. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, the next.